friend of a spiritual wisdom hour, hoping that you're all well and uh, haven't overindulged too much over Christmas. And I might just put you up a little bit higher. So I hope you did have a lovely Christmas, nice and relaxing, and uh, that Santa remembered you and um, that you are maybe on holidays, which would be lovely. Um, so drop me a line and uh, tell me that you're, that you're with me today. And uh, if you haven't seen me before, um, I am Victoria Cochran. I live in Tasmania. I'm on the northwest coast of Tasmania. And uh, I am a spiritual healer, uh, an advanced theta healing practitioner, a Reiki master, and I am a psychic channel. And uh, I have channeled four books. Hi, Lisa. Oh, Gippsland. Lovely. I met my husband in South Gippsland um, at Lock. I was a preschool teacher. <coughs> and uh, so I love Gippsland. We'll be heading down to Karamara and Lee and Gatha, um, probably um, around about the 10th or 11th of January, I reckon. Hi, Karen. Yes, I do do readings, but I don't do it straight away because I um, this is called the Spiritual Wisdom Hour, which doesn't mean I believe I'm the sage of all wisdom, but it just means that I talk about things that are relevant to people's uh, spiritual development. Hi, Deborah. And, uh, and answer questions about that. And then I do tune into people at about half past. So I generally do that in the, in the last half of the session. So if you can hang around, uh, I'll definitely come back and, and read for you, Karen. Um, hi, Deborah. lovely to see you. Um, so great to see everybody on uh, again today. So uh, I was just going to show you my books. I am organised today. <laughs> I don't usually have them with me. Oh, no, I should have had them. So, yes, I've been a bit prolific with my writing. Uh, these are all channelled from the Masters of Light, the Cosmic Council, um, and the first two are about ascension and the light body and uh, um, that kind of thing, the, and the soul, our soul journey. This one is a bit out there and it's about other worlds and uh, how, how we can learn lessons from them. And this one is the newest one and this has just been out not very long, since November, and has a meditation with every chapter. So I have been leading some meditations from this book. Um, when you buy the book, you can actually access recorded meditations um, they're all recorded and set to music and there's a code where you can download them all. So they're all available on Amazon or online booksellers. Um, also, I don't know, some of you would have, wouldn't have seen the Spiritual Discovery Journal put out by Sync Media um, and it's a collaboration with Spiritual Events and Directory. And I'm in this one as well and just talking about channeling your guides and your higher self. But there are actually 12 of us who um, contributed to this journal. So um, it's, uh, it's a really lovely journal. I had a copy and I started writing in it and now I can't find it and I'm just terrified that I sold it to somebody <laughs> accidentally. Um, so that's a wonderful thing as well. So hi, Tazzy. Great to see you. Um, no, don't say sorry, Karen. It's fine. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, you're not in Kmart. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Colleen. Lovely to see you. Hi, Nikki. Yes, yeah, so I just, I don't do it straight away. I, if I do it for a whole hour, it's really exhausting. Um, so I, li I like to kind of just talk about things, pull a few cards and see what comes up and then I do readings for people. Otherwise, it is actually pretty tiring. Um, and... Uh, so I've got the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards and they are Doreen Virtue, but I still find them really, really um, lovely and uh, can bring up some 
uh, nice messages for people. So this is for the collective. And let's see what comes up today for people. Um, so, and I will look into that um, a little bit later on. So, so someone's going to have a new partner. <laughs> um, I might put that one back because that's more, if someone's asking about whether a new partner's coming in, um, that would be yes. Um, so I might use different cards. Um, work your light um, oracle cards. I have found these cards to be really wonderful, really nice cards. Um, yes. Um, so I'm just doing for the collective at the moment, and then I'm going to take you all for a bit of a meditation, um, and then we'll do some readings because I just can't do it for the whole hour. It's um, you know, it's when I'm working one on one with a person, that's fine. But when you're just doing boom, boom, boom with lots of people, it can be very tiring. Um, and I, I don't, uh, I like to also just talk about things that are really, um, you know, uh, relevant. So I'm wondering, how are you going with your spiritual development? Are you having issues with connection or with your guides or, um, you know, things like that that I can answer? And uh, then we'll get into readings after. Yeah. So thank you, Tassie. Um, hi, Natasha. Lovely to see you from Perth. Wow. Um, it's actually 22 degrees over here today. This is the warmest day we've had, I think, in the whole of December. Honestly, we haven't had a summer. <laughs> and um, I'm really looking forward to maybe some warmer weather soon. Okay. Warrior woman. All right, so even if you're a male watching, um, we all have a masculine and feminine side. But this one says, have you answered your deepest calling? I like the sword because there's a whole lot of mysteries and lies and rubbish flying around at the moment about all sorts of things um, and in the world. And we really need to start to be very critically literate and to actually cut through all the the mysteries and the veil of illusion or the veils of illusion that are being spread out um, for us to so they can keep us in control. And so this is now, um, you know, it, it can have several meanings, this card, but the, the sword is for us to feel strong enough to be in our truth, to face the truth and to... Um, cut ties with the past that are holding us to perhaps drama and things that no longer serve us. And then to start to, to really embed our spiritual calling into our lives. And some people find it really difficult to, um, to, to maintain their spiritual connection and live in the 3D world, which is full of drama and poverty and, you know, really heavy emotional feelings and all of that kind of thing. But meditation can help with that. Or just or Michael calls it being a living meditation where you're always aware of your connection to spirit and having your guide. It's like you've got your guide on your shoulder and you're just always remembering who you are and what your gifts are and using the tools that you know to help you to deal with crap, basically. Um, Oh, wow, Natasha said it was 37 degrees yesterday. Um, oh, Colleen's broken both sides of her ankle. Oh, that's no good. No, I'm sure your parents aren't cranky at you. Oh, my goodness, that's awesome. That's terrible. Apparently in Woolworths, Tassie, just reading yours, I hope 2021 is a lot better. You can get piñatas that say good riddance 2020. <laughs> and I think a lot of people have felt that way. So now it's time to um, look forward and to start to think about what we can do that's positive um, to create a better future. And I talk all the time about how we're co-creators and how we create our own reality, our own reality, um, based on the negativity and the positivity that we 
our thinking and that we put out. And so, you know, yes, things can be tough, but how can we, how can we control our perceptions and reactions and actually start to change adversity into blessings? And uh, so, you know, and, and if you can have a look at this, this is spirit all around you, supporting you. So, hi, Julianne, lovely to see you. Oh, I am watching the wrong thing. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, hopefully, I can find where I am. I'm just on my Victoria Cochrane uh, psychic communication page, and I've just I'm trying to find myself live so that I can talk to people uh, while I'm live on here, but. Um, actually, that's not happening. So if you are on there, I apologise because I can't find you. Anyway, um, hi, Kelly. Um, yes, I will at definitely... Oh, tick bite. You. Um, yes, I'll definitely tune into people. Seems like people are wanting some guidance and things. But let's just see what this comes up for the collective first. And this one is trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So spiritually speaking, how spiritual are you feeling? You know, and uh, are you feeling just really worn out by all the COVID talk? I mean, I just can't watch the news anymore. I just get so sick. It's just so, so much sensationalism. Um, so are you trusting that you're on the right path? And, and work can be part of your spiritual path too because, you know, um, as a teacher um, of children, I was still, um, I was really helping people and serving in a way that uh, was made difference to people's lives. But doing this kind of work now, I feel is my true spiritual calling, which is helping people to raise their vibrations and to feel that um, there are still possibilities, even though the earth seems to be crumbling in a heap. So, you know, I really find this work really uplifting and it actually lifts me up as well. Um, so I, that's really important. So if you are not feeling particularly spiritual, um, I might look in the uh, the book of life today and, and for a for a meditation that will help with that. But generally, um, you know, I always say to people, trust your intuition, trust what you're being guided to do. And so many people second guess themselves, but your intuition is your basic psychic knowing. And uh, so, hello, Yvette. So trust that. And um, so, Charlotte, that's okay, though, to see purple because purple is the highest healing colour. Purple is the colour of the violet flame. It actually might mean that you have um, Archangel Zachiel or, or um, Saint Germain with you. Um, so that's okay. And you can actually use that colour then to transmute all the negativity and problems that perhaps are happening in the household. So um, I can have a bit of a check though. Um, so to see colours generally does mean that you've got masters or archangels with you and it, they all have their different colours. Um, so it's, it's actually okay. Um, Yeah, you definitely do. I'm just asking who they are. It is Archangel Zachiel. So Archangel Zachiel is of the seventh ray and the crown chakra and the violet flame and uh, the ray of, um, it's called transmutation, but also the devotion and uh, 
it's really uh, a, a very beautiful ray that helps to transmute uh, negativity to love. So um, he is with you. Generally, um, Archangel Zadkiel um, and Saint Germain work a lot with world healing, and uh, but also can be there with you to help you to heal and to actually raise your vibration so you can step into whatever gifts you have. So um, they've been letting you know they're there. So um, that, that's okay. That's good. Um, hi, Linda. Thank you. Um, I'll, I will check in for you, Doreen. Um, Donna, I had a great year, still unable to visit my parents in Victoria, but I trust they'll be well. They're both 80. It's a worry, isn't it? My parents are in their 80s. Actually, um, two of our children are going down to see them today. They live at, um, they live in the village of Glen, which is at Rosebud, or they call it Capel Sound, but it's kind of Rosebud. Um, and uh, so all of our boys are um, in Victoria at the moment. And uh, one's getting married on January the 8th, so we're going on the boat on the 3rd. But I'm, I'm a Melbourne girl, so I grew up in Melbourne and uh, met my husband down in South Gippsland. So, you know, mum and dad are 86 and 80, nearly 85 now, and uh, Richie's parents are still alive, so we're very blessed to have them. So uh, I really hope you can get over and see them soon, Donna. But aren't we lucky to have video calls and things that we never used to be able to? use so um natasha says yes when i was a youngling i started with seeing purple nothing wrong with it for sure i wonder don't see or hear anything anymore oh well um let's do one to connect to our guides today um and it's difficult um when you don't see because not everybody does a lot of people feel or they might smell or they might um here but they a lot of people have trouble with clairvoyance and i i'm i feel really grateful that i am a, a good clairvoyant because to be able to witness and see is a really great thing but when i was writing the book it was um you know getting the masters to help me to um use other ways of knowing who um the masters are so i've got one in here um, and this is called the Book of Life Lessons for Mother Earth. Just a quick plug. Um, and it's out on Amazon now. And uh, I'm, it took me three years. Um, and there's a meditation with every chapter. So um, I'm hoping that people find it um, helpful. So the one I want is about connection, connect to your psychic gift. Um, there's a lot of different ones about connecting to Mother Earth. Um, I might just need to do the one about connecting to your psychic gifts. Um, it's actually not one of you. I thought it was. You write stuff and then you forget what you write. Um, hi, Audrey. I will be doing cards soon. Oh, yes, I can look into your headache. That's no good, Jane. And, um, oh, yes, I can. Um, it's best to just go on to Amazon. Um, it's best to go on to Amazon and just type in Victoria Cocker in the Book of Life. Or if you just did that on Google, it'll pop up everywhere. And sometimes Amazon... It doesn't have the best price either, so you can go on to um, Fish Pond is quite often good and they have free um, free delivery. So Booktopia might be there as well. So check around. So the recommended retail price is $24, but you might get it cheaper. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's do this first and then I'll check in with people. Um, Yeah, I'm always a much better reader for my, for other people than I am for myself, Cynthia, because, you know, I have 
the agendas of I want a yes, you know, I don't want to know. Or, um, but I always find the first thing that comes is generally the right thing. And uh, so Claire Cognizant. Um, clear cognizant is still is the knowing and that is intuition but it's more than intuition it's it's not a hunch it's a knowing so intuition is like <clears throat> you just get the feeling um, but you don't know for sure whereas clear cognizant where you just know it and so clear cognizance um, I, I think would be a difficult thing to have it's one thing that I'm not I don't really have that much um, and I think that it can be a bit it can be a bit intrusive if you just know when someone walks past you you suddenly know what's going on for them you know who needs to know that and that's intrusive for them too so it's it's a more difficult psychic ability to have um, so learning how to shut it off and and um, control it is important but that can be difficult as well um yeah um one last card before we go into this is in a temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart the other thing is cynthia is to you know think with your heart and not your head because the, the monkeys jump up and down and have a lovely time and muck us up and when you just sit in it and know it in your heart space it's a lot stronger um, yes, Belinda, um, you can, but I don't do it straight away generally. If you're new, I, I do talk for about half an hour and then I do cards. Um, otherwise, I find it exhausting. I can't do an hour of quick readings for people. I just I find that really um, tiring. And I like to be helpful for people with spiritual development as well. Um, Chrissy says, so glad I tuned in. Being feeling totally overwhelmed with what's going on in the world this year, Trying to start the new year with a more positive mindset. I would love a card, definitely, um, inside into the new year and how to clean my mind, if possible. Actually, that's a really good idea about tuning in for the new year. Um, for everybody, so I have these really beautiful cards called Angels of Atlantis. Um, I have done a couple of channelings this week that I put up on my channelings blog and it's called, it's very easy, victoriacochran44.com or it's wordpress.com. Um, and it is about uh, the coronavirus and what's going on, but also how we need to keep our vibrations high. Um, so, and Mario Gat. Carola Dino Desi from Italy actually has put them both up on YouTube as YouTube clips and there's quite a few of my channelings that have been put up either on Higher Self or on um, or by Mario um, over the years and so I'm really grateful because then people and of course you get your people who say this is rubbish blah, 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 whatever um, it's all about getting it out there isn't it so um, the Angels of Atlantis Oracle Cards, let's just, um, great idea, um, thanks Christy, um, to ask about, you know, um, the new year and all we can hope for is a better year, but um, there's certainly a lot of energy flying around to try to stop um, people from awakening so when you're aware of that really connecting to your guides to the creator not religiously just connecting meditating um, standing in your truth and not listening too much to all the rhetoric and the media bs that's going around because it, it drags us down very quickly inspiration Oh, look at this, Mother Gaia, uh, Gabriel, inspiration. So um, this, I need the book because um, that's all it says. So looking up Gabriel, um, 
inspiration. So this is for all of you for next year. Take a deep breath and visualise your breath force as a beautiful blue light filling you. Gabriel will guide you to connect with the flow of the universe with God's breath. If you did this every day, honestly, you wouldn't feel so overwhelmed. When flow occurs thus, Gabriel removes the tensions and holding points that have prevented you from creating love and joy in your life. Inspiration means to be influenced by the divine and if you can take several moments to enjoy Gabriel's breath, as your breath, relaxation will abound and creative ideas will swiftly flow into your consciousness. Therefore, allow stillness to facilitate the flow. Pushing doesn't allow, it merely creates resistance. Someone said to me once, you're um, trying to bash the door down when the whole wall's going to open up for you. You've just got to be patient and trust your path. Um, chant Ra um, N three times for the chain, channel of angelic inspiration. Ra Amen. To remain open and yet protect yourself with a golden light around your aura as you move through the business of life. Thereby you will protect the exquisite vulnerability of your soul's truth. So what is this saying? It's saying all we can do is work on ourselves. And when we are really still and when we are bringing ourselves back into balance and when we're connecting with the divine, we're going to be far more equipped to be able to help ourselves and others than if we're enmeshed in it and being overwhelmed by it all. So um, I'm going to change my meditation now um, because of this card, which I just think is beautiful. Um, oh, Yes, I know why. I always forget. Thanks for reminding me, Deborah. I always forget. Um, all right, very quickly, particularly as... Uh, one or two of you have a headache as well. I'm just going to um, do this meditation that is about bringing in the um, there it is. This is um, wrongly named in the book and I've done another um, I've done another edit, um, but it's in it's in the chapter of the colours of the ascension of humanity. So it's about bringing in the higher galactic colours to help with healing for yourself and for the earth. Um, and the note at the end is to tell you the chakras and associated rays. So the colours that you see um, will tell you who's with you. Um, the base chakra is the first, which is the blue ray. Um, so not necessarily associated to the colours of the chakras. Um, Michael and Archangel Michael and Lady Faith. The sacral chakra is the green ray of Archangel Raphael and Lady Mary. Solar plexus is the pink ray, Archangel Chamuel and Lady Charity. The heart chakra is the white ray of Archangel Gabriel and Lady Hope. The throat chakra is the second yellow ray, Jophiel and Lady Christine. The third eye chakra is the sixth or the ruby ray with Archangel Uriel and Lady Grace. And the seventh is the Archangel Zadkiel and Holy Amethyst. So let's just do this and then I'll get to readings, okay? Um, so close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a few slow breaths in and out, being mindful of how your body is feeling. On each out breath, feel your shoulders relaxing and your body becoming heavier in the chair.
send your energy down through your chakras with a breath. All the way down to your base. Then feel the light separate down your legs through your feet into the floor below. Imagine the two beams of light going down and anchoring deep into Mother Earth. Give thanks and blessings for all of your gifts and abundance. Then bring the light back up through your feet and legs and back up through your chakras until your ball of energy is rotating slowly above your crown. Look up and see it. As you look, you can see the beam of light that continues from your crown through your own energy all the way through many more chakras to a much larger ball of light. This is Creator's light and you are directly connected to him or her, Mother, Father, God. Now imagine yourself sitting in your own energy beautiful pearlescent white energy, the same as Creator's energy. You are surrounded by your own love and light. You feel immensely relaxed and peaceful. You feel yourself rising up and merging with the light of the Creator and becoming one with it. There is no separation between your light and Creator's light. You are simply one with all that is. We call in now the Master of Light who is to work with each of you today to clear, balance, align and activate your chakras to bring a higher frequency of light into them, aligning them with the energies of ascension. The Master may be different for each person and the process shorter or longer depending on the amount of light already present in each chakra and the frequency of light each person is able to tolerate. This process can take up to a minute and for some the energy can be quite strong. Rest assured you are safe and protected throughout this process and you will feel rejuvenated and calm afterwards and hopefully headache free. It is hoped you will find yourself more tolerant of others and more able to cope with the disrupted energies abounding on earth at this time. Close your eyes and feel the master behind you. Ask for his or her name or ask to be shown their colour. He or she has their hands gently on your head. The first wave of energy washes over you, clearing your aura and chakras of any discordant energies. It will also ground you more into the earth. The next wave comes now, straightening your chakra line and balancing each chakra to allow them to receive a higher frequency of light. The energy ascends back up your body to prepare for the activation and then comes through for a third time. Feel the energy shifting throughout your body as the Master of Light activates your light frequencies to align to a higher level of consciousness and the fifth dimensional energies of ascension. As he or she again grounds your energies, see, feel or imagine the light around you becoming brighter and lighter in essence. In your hands, now receive a gift. It is a ball of light aligning you with the ray that you have been matched with. Notice, feel or know the colour or ask to be told. As you place this ball of light in your crown and feel the chakra it relates to expand, open your mouth and emit a long tone three times. If you've got people around you, you can do it in your head. It will help the energy to integrate and align with yours. So it's oh, whatever comes out.
ask now for a word or a message from your master. Hear or know the message from the master that is relevant to you at this time. You can write it down. The first thing that comes. Trust in your ability to do so. You are very loved. I am Archangel Michael. When you listen to it, um, the recorded one, it goes a lot more slowly and there's music to help you to visualise it all. But um, please let me know if you found that helpful. Um, and if you saw blue, that's Archangel Michael. If you saw green, that's Archangel Raphael. If you saw pink, that's Archangel Chamuel. White is Archangel Gabriel. Yellow is Archangel Jophiel. Red or ruby is Archangel Uriel. And violet is Zadkiel. If you saw a combination, purple and green can be Metatron. Um, so, uh, I hope that was nice. And the message for you was, you are loved, you are protected, your guides are always with you, Cynthia. Thank you so much. Lisa says that was lovely. That's good. Trust, Belinda says, trust. Do you know, as a psychic channel, trust is the word that I've had to embody. Um, so it's the word that I say to people, you need to trust. You know, if I didn't trust what I was being told, what I was being shown, my readings and healings wouldn't be worth a grain of salt. Honestly, I need to trust. And so it's just about being in my space and just having that connection and just trusting that and trusting that what I'm being shown and it is the right thing. And if I didn't trust, then I'd be in my head all the time and I'd be a mess and I wouldn't be accurate. And so it's when I do question, that's when... I, I muck myself up. So trust is a really lovely message, a really good message to get. Purple and green for sure. Yes, very nice. Lovely. So purple and green, two healing colours. Could be um, Zadkiel and Raphael. Um, often you'll have more than one um, archangel with you. You'll have quite a crew. So that's really lovely. Oh, thank you, Doreen. That's really nice of you. I just really am here to help. That's, you know, oh, sorry, I just knocked you off my perch. Um, I just love what I do, and uh, uh, that's a lovely comment. Thank you. Oh, Belinda, thank you. That's awesome. Um, love. Well, look, you know, if... <laughs> Humans love unconditionally, and that's the thing. Mostly we have conditions around the love that we've given or that we give. But the Creator always loves us unconditionally. There's, no, there's nothing to forgive in the energy of oneness because it's all lessons towards soul dissolvement, even murder and nasty, nasty things. So it's all about feeling that love, and the more connected we are to that, then the less we feel alone. And also tuning into things like this, helps us all to feel connected as well. It's all about connection and coronavirus is all about disconnection. So it's really important to keep us all connected and to remain connected. And meditations like that are really important, I think. Um, wow, Belinda says she has so much heat around her, so much warmth. Right, Belinda, I'll tune in to you now too, seeing as um, you're the message there. And Guys, if you don't mind sharing this uh, video, that would be wonderful. That's a lovely exchange of energy that I'm happy with because uh, then other people get to watch the video and it might be helpful for them as well. Um, maybe transformation. Yeah. Um, the word was butterfly. Oh, yes. Yes. Chrissy is replying to you, Jane Ann. Butterfly. Butterflies mean change and a transformation because they transform don't they from caterpillar to so it is about you going through transformation and change and change can be uh, scary it can be messy but it's also a way of letting go of the past so the new can come in so i think that's a wonderful 
um, thing to know that you're turning into a butterfly. Um, and so that how wonderful is that? Right, pardon me, just going to tune in to a few of you now. And Belinda did ask for a card um, and says so she's got a lot of, uh, oh, she says she loved that so much and she's ordered the book. Yay, thank you. All right, so I'll tune in. Um, oh, wow, you actually have a lot of orange energy around you, orange and yellow. coming into your power because sacral and solar plexus chakras are all about the seat of the ego and stepping into our power um, and taking back our power and being in our truth and not being afraid to be. Um, I'll see who is with you though. Uriel, Archangel Uriel. Um, so this is for Belinda. Um, there's been a lot of change for you and a few things have, it's like you've had to reinvent yourself, he says, but you, you are answering your calling now it's like you're up to the challenge um, stay in your space and believe in yourself um, I know that you asked a question before Belinda um, I have to go back a bit now to find that can you share? Oh, I've done that. Um, oh, you wanted a card. Easy. Okay, I've got these energy oracle cards. Um, and I'll just uh, quickly pull some uh, for as many people as I can. Um, hi, Kerry. Lovely to see you. Oh, Belinda got huge goosebumps. So that's great. Goosebumps are great. Chills, shivers, I trust all of those things. When you get those, that means that the words I speak are the truth. And uh, so that is wonderful. And this is for you, Belinda. Mm. Goddess of the moon. And I know this one means trust your intuition. This is about you just being who you are and trusting who you are trusting your path and just knowing that everything has happened for a reason also true about reinventing yourself that's awesome yes yeah, so hi Annette lovely to see you um yeah so just be your goddess self and this does uh, I know in the book it talks about trusting your intuition but I just love this picture because it's just about trusting your guidance and uh, being who you are. So I'm going to go back to Karen Eckhart if you're still there because you were the first one who asked about a card and now I've got to go way way back here um, and I actually can't see that um, but Karen if you're still there let me know and then I'll pull a card for you. Um, Doreen asks, will my loneliness end soon? Hmm, something just popped out. Two just popped out. Okay, well, this one indicates that you do have a fair bit of anxiety and you are lonely. Um, and then this one is just a, probably that you don't value yourself or see yourself um, as worthy of having a relationship or having friends um, and so it, it comes back to the law of attraction Doreen of what we put out what we feel about ourselves we project to the world and people pick it up 
So really about building up your worthiness and getting yourself out there and just feeling worthy of being loved and accepted by others. And um, this one is attachment. But, you know, this also looks at um, taking the mask off and just being who you are. But let me tune in to you, Doreen, and, uh, um, and not, not to worry about it so much. Um, and asking the universe for help. Thank you, universe, for um, helping me to find people who, that I can enjoy being with and who can enjoy being with me and just putting it out in a positive way uh, and believing that it can happen. Um, tuning in to Doreen now. I get that you don't have a lot of opportunities and perhaps you have some mobility issues or some kind of issues where it's hard to get out and about. There's definitely a lot of darkness in your energy fields. Um, you know, joining clubs is a really good way to go. I'm in the Lions Clubs International. That's a really good way of serving and of meeting people. Um, but sometimes we just have to break the mould and just, you know, get ourselves out there. Just seeing who's with you. <clears throat> Looks like Lord Melchizedek. Um, standing tall. It says, stand tall, be proud of who you are. Accept who you are and make bygones bygones so healing any rifts that have happened and just embracing uh, 2021 as um, a new adventure seeing life as a new adventure and I have this bizarre kind of vision of you going out and getting a new hairdo and actually just buying some new clothes and feeling good about yourself and getting out there and starting to find places where you can go, clubs that you can join, where you can meet people. Um, so, and Melchizedek says, just keep asking for help and guidance and it will happen. Um, now, Jane, I wonder how your headache's going. Um, I'm just going to scroll back down. Um, Oh, just to let you know, I did um, what you asked me to do the other day too, Charlotte. Um, did those healings for you yesterday. I forgot to write to you about that. Um, and, oh, Tazzy, I will get to you as well, okay? I, I do apologise. It's, um, it's hard to get to everyone. Um, I, sorry, who was I going to... Now I'm just getting myself, oh Jane, I just wanted to check on your headache. Hmm. Is it like in the front? There's a bit of red energy just going across your head here. And there's a fair bit of emotion, emotional body around you, which is yellow. Um, I'm sitting in the red energy of your headache. Dehydration might be the first thing. You need to um, drink a bit more water. Maybe put a little bit of um, the Himalayan salt in it. That helps to absorb it, uh, absorb it better. I think you've got a fair bit of stress and stuff going on too. There's a heap of emotional... I think you've just had a busy time and that you need to give yourself a bit of a break, uh, to be honest. Um, and here is white and deep red. 
Wow. Um, so that's Gabriel with you. And deep red is Uriel. So Gabriel, Uriel, Michael and Raphael are all the four angels of, or archangels of direction. So they're, they're a group that work pretty much together. So if you have one, you probably have all four of them. Um, so you can call on them to help clear your space, to help to ground you, clear your energy, um, you know, to hold the energy and keep you protected, all of those things. Um, this is for Jane and... You saw blue, Lisa, that's Archangel Michael. Oh! So, Jane, there are some things that you just need to let go of. I think you're just doing far too much and it's really getting to you. It's just like you've got fatigue, worry, anxiety, and lots of emotion. So delegate might be a good word and just to allow people to deal with their own stuff and just uh, only sweat what you need to sweat and let everything else go i hope that helps um okay avalon yes um and wishing you a happy new year too kerry hi joanne lovely to see you yeah This is for Avalon Avi. The seventh chakra. So this is Archangel Uriel. And um, really the seventh chakra is Archangel Zadkiel. But at the same time... Um, it doesn't really matter. It just means that you have... Um, a lot of guidance with you and that you're that you are awakening and that your connection is growing stronger so let me just tune in for you Avalon definitely have uh, golden energy coming from the crown um, it's like you are receiving lots of messages now um, You've got some red in your heart space too. So I really feel that you are needing some guidance on matters of the heart and that you are receiving those. So um, take notice of the signs and trust what you're being told and um, trust that where you're being guided is the right path. Mm. And uh, Tony... Oh, you keep missing me, Joanne. Never mind. Um, Tony, I'm in desperate need of a reading. Can you just give me um, what part of your life you'd like me to read for? That would be helpful in the short time that I've got. Um, and Anne, my landlord likes me to move out, would like me to move out. At the beginning of February, do you see this will change? Can I stay longer? My brother's number is seven. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yes, let me just look at that. I don't think so. I think you'll still have to move out, unfortunately. Um, but let go of the worry of that um, because uh, when things end, new doors open. So I, I do think you'll have to move out then. I'm so sorry, Joanne, to hear that. That's awful. Um, if you would like me to tune in, I could, but it's probably better to do that privately. I would prefer to do something like that a bit more privately. Um, I do private um, readings and healings, and I do them on 
on Skype or uh, WhatsApp, um, it works just as well. So, um, you know, please let me know if I can help you privately. Kelly, hello, I would love a guided message. I'm currently struggling with health issues. That's right, due to a tick bite. Thanks for repeating that. Um, I'm just going to clear my energy. So that's just breaking my energy with um, past readings. Okay. Tuning into Kelly. I think it's really affected your lymphatics and you seem to be a little bit like um, bloated or swollen. <clears throat> Just going to ask Creator, also your spleen, I don't think is coping particularly well. Um, I'm just going to ask Creator what we might need to do. They're not treating you. Um, I think you need to change the antibiotic that they're using. Um, maybe go and have a second opinion. Um, something juice. If anyone else knows... Um, about how to heal tick bite um, I'm just hoping you don't get Lyme disease because I know they don't recognize that here in I'm getting a no no it's not Lyme disease so that fuel that's good um, grape juice something about I oh, want well, not wine <laughs> um, I, th I think that's right some kind of grape juice what about cranberry? No, there's so, if you went to a health food shop or a naturopath or somewhere like that, they, they might have some alternative therapies for you as well. Um, I just keep getting grape juice. I don't know, but maybe Google that and see if that's helpful for tick bite. Um, can I have a card please anyway? Hold on. Hi, anything about finding a new tribe in the new year? Okay, yes. Karen, I'm glad you're there because I'm about finding a new tribe. New tribe? What do you mean by that? Yeah, juice cleanse as they won't treat me in Melbourne. Yeah, so I definitely, that's what I'm getting. Juice cleanse would be really good. Um, also... If you message me, I can put you in touch with someone else who's been dealing with tick bite as well. And then they can actually um, put you under it. But I think they're using a Healy machine and they reckon that's good. So I don't know. Um, oh, oh, have fun, Annette, um, at the Frozen Musical. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so Karen, anything about finding a new tribe in the new year? Oops. The temple path, and it's a 12. So you have the masters around you, and you are definitely um, on a path of ascension where you are letting go of older acquaintances or people that you've fallen out with or fallen out of alignment with and bringing in new ones. So yes, I do think that you will hmm, and maybe find a new partner. There you are. Um, Angel of Strength and don't worry about it. You know, when you're in your head, you block it. So everything is happening the way it's meant to. But all you can do is work on you, Karen, and just remain grounded and connect to your guides and thank them for bringing in the people who are going to be right for you. And um, it will happen. 
Yeah, so how exciting for you. Um, okay, Joanne, yes, you can. I'm still waiting to hear from Tony because I just want to help Tony. Um, but also, uh, if you really need a reading, perhaps, um, you know, just contact me. I'm not really expensive. I don't charge a, an arm and a leg. So, um, awesome. Uh, so I'm just going to choose my cards carefully here for you, Joanne. A ascended Masters. Yes, so for Joanne, here we are. Crystals, Epona, Crystals, and Unicorn and White. Um, I'll just see what this means. Um, crystal children are involved in the answer to your question. Your life purpose involves working with crystals or you have a connection to the elemental realm. Um, I wonder if your child, your son who passed away was a crystal child. Um, work your magic. Yeah, I, I'm not getting a, a great response from the cards about that. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the angel cards for you, Joanne, and see. I think these will be better. <laughs> oh, um, I think it was Lord Melchizedek, actually, Doreen. Um, that was with you um, yeah so uh, here we go this is for Joanne okay so this says ask ask us to help you in this situation we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So ask for help if you're struggling. Um, and Cupid, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind. So your son would be with you, sending lots of love to you um, and helping you through this time. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So the love you had. Um, with your son and for your son and from him and creative project get yourself involved in something creative oh hope yes aloe vera juice yeah that might be another juice that she can try although um, my friend who actually was on aloe vera and she thinks she has Lyme disease um, it she's actually not uh, she's allergic to it so um, it, it possibly is not the right one so it's always good to go through a health practitioner or someone who knows better um, a card in regards to your pregnancy hope yep you're welcome Karen um, and Joanne Um, this new partner card has come up for you again, but I'm not sure. Do you mind if I tune in to you about your pregnancy? Um, rather than, uh, would that be okay? Because, I don't know, it, it depends on if you're worried about something or... Um, and actually I have to go because I've run over time. 
as per usual. Um, so I will just tune into your hope if that's okay. Great, thank you for that permission. Well, I get that you're having a boy, but um, that could be. I've been wrong. <laughs> um, I see you having a very healthy baby, and um, but getting quite large in your pregnancy. Um, but that you won't, that you'll be able to have the baby naturally. Um, I, I really feel that you'll be fine um, there's a beautiful kind of um, energy going through you that looks like the spirit of the child um, who is a master and all babies being born now are masters they're coming in in droves to help us save the planet and um, thanks Joanne no that's all right um, so uh, I, I actually really feel that it could be um, an uncomfortable pregnancy because you're going to get quite big if you're not already because I see you're quite pregnant now and I'm not sure and Tassie thank you for your smiley face because I was thinking of you that you're next um, so uh, yeah it's like um, also that you're almost in tune with this child hope it's like um, I see that they are speaking to you I don't know it sounds weird but it's just like their higher self is you're, you're really feeling them and knowing them so I think uh, so let me just pull a card for you again set aside your worry and just enjoy your pregnancy and everything will be fine um, yeah, very good. Okay, Tassie, your turn. Yay, thank you for being so patient. Thank you, everyone. Um, Tony, I never got to you. If you really need a reading, please contact me um, and I can help you out with that privately. Um, my website is victoriacochran.com. My channelings website is victoriacochran44.com. Um, and I have a Facebook page which is Victoria Cochrane Psychic Communication Spiritual Healing. Um, I'm on here every Wednesday at 12 noon. Now next week uh, we'll be in Melbourne. Our son's getting married next Friday the 8th. Um, so if I can come on, I will. But if I can't, I'll drop you all a message and let you know that I can't. Um, I'll try. I'm hoping uh, that I'll have... Uh, the, the Wi-Fi to be able to do it um, this is for Tassie child you care deeply about children they readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you and maybe make more time for yourself and to uh, acknowledge the, the maybe the parts of your inner child that need love and um, forgiveness or healing or whatever. So I hope that makes sense to you, Tassie. Um, so much love to you all. Thank you so much for listening to me and watching me today. Um, Yes, the long-awaited wedding. It was uh, scheduled for November the 14th and then, of course, had to be postponed. So we're just over the, over the moon that we can actually have the wedding with um, the 
back to the um, the original numbers and everything. So uh, thanks for that, Charlotte. Much love to you all. I am Victoria Cochran, and I will hopefully see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>